Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I want to remind you that there's a time for everything. There's no point in attempting to handle everything in our lives or on our journey in a forceful nature. Similar to the old adage, go with the flow. Sometimes we can uh, more easily and more often than not we can get caught up in doing things our way, how we believe things should be. But that's one of so many endless possibilities, perspectives, if you, if you will. So truthfully being okay with not knowing what the next move is, that's all right. As long as you're open to that idea. As long as you're open to knowing that, okay, What's best for me will arrive in the allotted time. And until then, I will do what I am called to do. Or I will do what I know I must do in the moment. See, sometimes the most valuable thing that we can do or that we can possess is have patience. Simply making peace with where you are along your journey. Don't get so caught up in the next goal. Don't get so caught up in the next pit stop in your life on your journey. Sometimes it's about simply waiting as some of that path is laid out for you, whether you know it or not. Sometimes it is about moving. Okay, I'm going to maneuver in this direction. Okay, I'm going to let this be and I'll focus on this aspect of my life or this aspect of my journey. And that's okay. But don't get lost in everyone else's path. Focus on yours. And know how much strength you gain from strictly focusing on where you're headed or where you're resting. And knowing that you don't have to figure out so much as long as you allow yourself to be open to the answers, however they may come. And many times those answers are unconventional. Sometimes you can ask of God, the universe, whatever you call the entity that we come from. You can ask the question. But if you're asking that question into the, the nothingness that is our reality to the higher being, the higher creator that you know, then expect for the answer to come directly to you from an indirect messenger. Meaning, no, we're not all going to hear God's voice right in our head. However, if we allow ourselves to be open or entertain the idea that the answer will come to us, no matter who, what, where, when, and how, You'll be surprised at the random occurrences throughout your day, throughout your moments that answer your question simply by being open to it. It's about giving yourself grace when you look in hindsight and realize the answer was always there. It just took me a while to hear it, to understand it. And that's okay. Another thing I want to remind you of is there's only so much that you can say. There's only so many words that you can do. There's only so many actions that you can play out or express. But it doesn't guarantee that someone or something outside of you will understand. See, when we want to be understood along our journey, it takes a receptive person or place to be open to the idea that they may want to look at something differently to gain the same understanding you have. And I've seen this play out along my journey many a time, many a time where I thought I knew the answer or on the opposite, I thought I didn't know. I sat back and simply paid attention. I was able to understand what I was interacting with. I was able to understand the message either that I was sharing or that I was receiving. You see, there are, there are times in my life where I could have an interaction, a person or a place, and I will be received a certain way because of the way I interact with that environment, not truthfully understanding how I'm being perceived. I didn't get it. I'm simply being me, doing me. You know, and not everybody's going to like that or appreciate it, and that's fine. I had to make peace with it. But over the times, uh, 
over time, as I had these occurrences, I began to see that no matter how much talking I do, it doesn't mean anything to the person that I'm talking to if they're not open to the idea that there's some value in what I'm saying. Now that goes the other way too. Many a times I missed out on learning opportunities because I was so convicted in the idea that I was right, that I would not be open to the idea of any element being shared with me that would imply that I was incorrect or wrong. Well, let's take it out of the context of right or wrong, right? I wasn't open to hear anything other than what I knew. And as I began to go on different paths on my journey and change many directions, uh, correct my direction and my vision, if you will, I began to entertain the ideas of others in a different way. Meaning I would have conversations with myself and I would argue with myself at times. I'm sure we all do this, but more importantly, I began to entertain the ideas of others that I initially did not agree with. I would listen. I would shut myself up externally and mentally, and I would listen. I would listen for understanding. I would listen to learn. I would listen to see what is so attractive about believing this perspective from this person. And in doing so, I found more similarities than differences in the way that we think, in the way that we express ourselves, in the way that we perceive the world as we go along our individual journeys. That alone not only taught me to re-examine certain ideas and beliefs that I had and pay attention to how I express these things, but it showed me that we are more alike than different no matter where we look at across the board. No matter what. See, you could have individuals with the exact same principles, with the exact same tools, with the exact same foundation. However, the choices we make give importance to the tools. The choices we make that give importance to the tools gives us a different relationship with those tools and how we utilize those tools. So just because all of us are put into the same sandbox with all the same tools, it doesn't mean we're going to build the same castles. Some people ain't even going to think about building castles. Some people ain't even going to think about building nothing. They're just going to destroy. But we're all working in the same environment with the same tools. Some people didn't even turn and look at the tools. They just kept their back turned to them. See, it's amazing how similar we all truly are. And it can be frustrating, Tom. This is not a message of kumbaya, hug the world. This is a message of you don't have to force it. You don't have to force anything. Now, there are times where more force is needed than other times. But forcing and forging your way through brute force throughout your entire journey, burnout, exhaustion. Well, sometimes you just simply have to sit still. Let the things work out. Let the things develop. Let the seeds grow. Be at ease. And then there's time for tending. Tend to your plants. Tend to your thoughts. Tend to your spirit. Tend to the people around you. Tend to yourself. Then there's time for harvest. It's a constant cycle, right? It's a reminder of a multitude of many things, right? More so... Don't force it. Be at ease. And when it's time to move, you'll know. No matter how that message comes to you, you'll know when it's time to move. But trust in yourself. You got this. Just keep pushing. One step at a time. Enjoy your journey. Most importantly, please don't forget to smile.